Hola from the Sea of Cortez off the coast of Mexico. This is Victoria coming to you CFS Warriors. Just want to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous evening we have here. A little beach party still happening down there. Isn't that awesome? Loving it. Feels so good to be out in nature and it's warm and just fabulous. So basically, I want to tell you about a story that has really encouraged me. And again, it's the life of David, as we all know in the Old Testament. And there was a situation for him where he was living out in the desert. He was, he was anointed to be king at some point, but Saul was still on the throne. So David was living in the wilderness with his band of men and his, you know, their wives and children. So they had this little small town called Ziglag where they were living. And he had gone out to battle one day, and when he returned, everybody was gone. The city had been decimated, all of their wives and children had been carried off, and they were devastated. It says that all the men wept until they could weep no more. And then they began to think of stoning David. And you can imagine how devastated David was. He'd lost his wife and his kids and everyone. So he, the neat thing is the scripture says he encouraged himself in the Lord. And he went to God and he said, we don't know who took them, we don't know where they went, should I try to go after them? And the word of the Lord came back and said, go and I will restore everything to you. And so David did that. He and his men left, they went in search, they were exhausted already from the battle they had just been in, so half the army had to stay behind once they reached this river. And as they continued on, they found this fella who had just, you know, was in the desert and he was about to die. And it ended up he was a slave of the uh, people that had taken their wives and children. So they had a clue now on where to find them. And the thing is, with CFS, I feel like this story parallels our experience so much because it seems like everything has been stolen. You know, our life, our future, everything seems gone, right? And the thing about it though, as we make a move and as we begin to go out and try to find resources, we can stumble across that one, like they found this guy in the desert, God can lead us to that clue that we need, that we need specifically for our health. And so anyway, the story goes, they, they found this, the people that had taken everyone, they were able to defeat them. Everything was restored, and not only that, but they got all the spoils of that battle as well. So I just wanna encourage you that God can restore everything. You know, it's so easy to feel like God is against us in this battle. I know I felt that so many times that I was abandoned, but really there is a deeper purpose going on. And even though in the moment we can't see it, we are gonna see it. And there is a divine intelligence that can work all these things together for good. But our part of the equation is to go after that and to seek for wisdom and guidance and then to go and move when, we're, when we are given that guidance to go. So um, I just wanna encourage you in that. I'm believing for complete recovery and restore, restoration and I'm already seeing that take place in my life. And I know that you can too. So just remember, you are more than a conqueror and you will defeat CFS.